All right, so last night they posted the official details for some of the upcoming Heroes collab units. And the reason I say some is because uh, we're still missing the Janemba and the Golden Metal Cooler. But we at least have the full details now for the Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegeta, and also the uh, Super Hearts who transforms into ultimate hearts so in this video we'll be breaking down the details for these three units and then i guess we'll find out about the other guys uh, a little bit later okay so uh, before we get into the actual kits for each of them let's watch the animations because they are now available in full not just like a preview we saw yesterday and uh yeah let me just pause the music here and we'll start with the free-to-play unit, which is legs, and then we'll get into the five new summonable units. So, uh, yeah, I've seen this already, but you guys enjoy. Here we go. Okay, so after having seen the animations now in full, I still stand by everything that I said in yesterday's video uh, with the previews. Um, I think that Hearts definitely has by far the best animations of, uh, you know, the five units. And uh, Janemba and Golden Metal Cooler, they look decent, but honestly, a little bit lackluster for my liking. You know, they just aren't the most hype animations, but uh, they're okay, they're okay. And then the full power Super Saiyan 4s, the Goku and Vegeta, you know, um, those are some very solid animations, but still nothing crazy. So Hearts by far has the best looking animations, uh, by far looks like he's had the most effort put into his animations, you know? And uh, maybe it's because if you guys hear some weird sounds in the background, it's the washing machine. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I think maybe it's because he has the OST and also like the, you know, active skill with the voice lines and all that stuff that kind of skews my opinion. But I mean, Hearts just looks awesome. Hearts just looks freaking awesome. And I love his OST, man. His OST is already one of my favorites in the game, you know, so... Uh, overall, great looking animations, no complaints, just uh, some are definitely a lot better than, than the others, right? So with that said, let's uh, move on to the details because we have three units to break down. This might take a while. Hopefully we can keep this video under like 15 minutes or so. We'll see. So starting with the, uh, well, I've been calling him Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku. The actual name is... Super Full Power 
Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku Zeno, that's the full name, Breaking Limits for Victory. His leader skill is, let me just zoom in here, crossover or full power category, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Dragon Ball Heroes category. So 200% leader skill, awesome to see. Uh, to see. I thought that it was going to be 170 just like last year with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 of Vegito, but it's nice that we can get this additional 30% as well for 200%. And of course, um, having crossover and Dragon Ball Heroes at the very least is really common you know like a lot of units are in both categories so you should be able to build a very solid team with uh, the 200% leader skill right and then the passive is key plus three attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 80% and reduces damage received by 30% when all allies attacking in the same turn are super class, full power, or Dragon Ball Heroes category characters. Full, uh, super class allies, defense plus 40% when there is an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Kid, Junior, etc. excluded attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% and performs a critical hit starting from the turn in which the character receives the seventh attack in battle so after taking seven hits or more he's getting guaranteed crits and he's also getting a lot of attack and defense just throughout his passive he's getting 30 percent damage reduction if you have a full super class a uh, full power or dragon ball heroes a uh, team and he's also providing 40 percent defense support if you have a vegeta in the same rotation and um yeah this guy is just really really strong He's really, really powerful. I mean, defensively, he looks like he's going to be very sound. You know, he's going to be, uh, you know, not the greatest defender, but going to be a very reliable defender. And then offensively, he should be hitting pretty hard, especially with uh, the guaranteed crits after taking seven hits, right? So, yeah, this Goku is, uh, on paper at least, looking very, very impressive. So, that's the passive. Uh... Let's go with the links after. We got Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Crossover, Full Power, Dragon Ball Heroes, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Giant Ape Power, Turtle School, Defenders of Justice, Accelerated Battle, uh, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Bond of Parent and Child. Now for the Super Attack, it is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy so there's the full power super saiyan 4 goku now let's talk about the uh super full power super saiyan 4 limit breaker vegeta xeno breaking limits for triumph okay so his leader skill is crossover or giant ape power category key plus three HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Dragon Ball Heroes category. So uh, keeping crossover just like the Goku, except it's giant A power for the second category as opposed to uh, full power, right? And his passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%. When performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus 80% and launches an additional super attack when all allies attacking in the same turn are super class giant ape power or Dragon Ball Heroes category characters. Super class allies attack plus 40% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain, Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%, attacks guaranteed to hit and disables enemy's guard starting from the turn in which the character performs the fifth super attack in battle. So um, a lot of similarities to Goku, but I do think Goku is the superior unit uh, right now because Goku gets the damage reduction, he gets defense support over attack support. I mean, you can argue which one's better, but I think I generally prefer defense support because it helps your rotation stay alive, right? And then he's also... Um, Instead of getting guaranteed crits, like the Goku, after 7 hits, he's getting a guaranteed hit, which is not a bad 
thing and also disabling enemy's guard which is not a bad thing either but not nearly as good in my opinion as uh you know crits after five supers right so um still a very good unit but i do think the goku kind of is uh you know a little bit better right so that is the vegeta his links are experienced fighter super saiyan prodigies prepare for battle royal lineage saiyan roar and fierce battle and categories are uh, crossover, Giant 8 Power, Dragon Ball Heroes, Pure Saiyans, Full Power Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, Gifted Warriors, Defenders of Justice, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Bond of Parent and Child. So that is Full Power, Super Saiyan 4, Limit Breaker, Xeno, Vegeta, and oh, my bad, Super Attack. Same as Goku, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Lastly, we have the Super Hearts, who will transform through an active skill into Ultimate Hearts. So, starting with his leader skill, Dragon Ball Heroes or Time Travelers, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the crossover category. So, you might be starting to notice a trend here. Basically, it's uh, Dragon Ball Heroes as the... You know, first leader skill for all three of these guys, as you can see. Oh, my bad. Okay, my apologies. It was crossover <laughs> for the Super Saiyan 4s. And then it's uh, Dragon Ball Heroes. Dragon Ball Heroes for the hearts. So, Dragon Ball Heroes or Time Travelers, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the crossover category. His passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn plus an additional defense plus 50% within the same turn when guard is activated. Extreme class allies key plus 1 attack and defense plus 30% plus an additional key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 20% for all allies and medium chance of stunning all enemies when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme class crossover category characters. This guy is going to be a very, very good super, uh, super battle road unit. He's going to be one of the better super battle road slash extreme super battle road options just because of the uh, support, the guard, the you know medium chance to stun all enemies of course is super clutch. So. Um, yeah, looking like a good passive right there for the Super Hearts, but of course he does get better with the Ultimate Hearts transformation. So, as Super Hearts, his links are Gentlemen, Solid Support, Tracking Speed, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, like to see that, Brainiacs, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are, I guess not shown here. Uh, let's move on to the next tab here. Okay, his Super Attack. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his uh, active skill is transformation. Can be activated starting from the third turn from the start of battle if all allies are extreme class or starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. If the character receiving, uh, sorry, receives an attack five or more times in battle once only. So... Um, I like this condition a lot actually because if you have a full extreme class team then you only have to wait three turns for him to transform which is you know very early right and then if you don't have that condition satisfied let's say you're running a couple of um, super class units on your team then it still only takes five turns which is not terrible not great but not terrible right so uh, decent condition right there. Categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Time Travelers, Crossover, Resurrected Warriors, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Battle of Wits, Space Traveling Warriors, and Accelerated Battle. So now let's move on to Ultimate Hearts, which is his final form, I guess. And uh, his leader skill is the same as before. His passive is Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense. Sorry, Attack and Defense. Key plus 3 attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Launches an additional super attack when all allies are extreme class. So of course, you do want to run a full extreme class team for this guy because he's getting so much from 
having all extreme on your team, right? So yeah, guaranteed additional super when all allies are extreme, plus an additional attack plus 150% and disables enemy's guard when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme class crossover category characters. Attacks effective against all types when there is a Realm of Gods category enemy. So uh, this dude should be hitting super, super hard. I mean, I'm expecting to see some pretty crazy attack stats, but on top of that, I'm also expecting just a lot of damage overall because he's getting double guaranteed supers with a full extreme team. Or, uh, yeah, full extreme team. And uh, he's also, you know, potentially getting three supers with some hidden potential investment. So um, he should be doing some great damage. And then defensively, um, he should be still good. He should still be good, but maybe not amazing because I'm not seeing like any damage reduction. We're not seeing any guard. Um, he disables enemy's guard, but he doesn't get guard himself. And uh, yeah, he might not be the best defender. He's going to be okay because he does get good amount of defense. And uh, yeah, just overall, you know, for a Heroes collab unit, for a non Dogon best, of course, um, I think he's more than good enough so uh that's the passive links i'm not sure if they change but just in case gentlemen solid support shocking speed cold judgment big bad bosses brainiacs and fierce battle and oh this video is going over 15 minutes my bad my bad and uh his super attack greatly raises attack and defense sorry greatly raises attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy and i guess that's it yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the details, guys, for the upcoming, or at least the headlining units for uh, this year's Heroes Collab, the Hearts, the Super Saiyan 4, uh, Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 4, Goku. And uh, they all look very, very good. They all look very, very good. I'm excited to see what the Janemba and um, Golden Metal Cooler do. I'm guessing that they're not going to be as good as these three maybe that's why they, d they decided to you know release their details first and uh you know give us the janemba and old metal cooler later uh, i'm guessing they're not going to have 200 percent leader skills like these guys but who really knows who really knows maybe they will maybe they won't but we'll see um anyways that's going to do it for today's video guys it's already going a lot longer than i wanted to i wanted it to go so that's my bad but hopefully you guys found this video informative and uh, let me know in the comments between the three between the super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan 4 vegeta and uh super hard slash ultimate hearts which one do you think is the best and which one are you the most excited for you can't include you know golden metal cooler in there you can't include janemba in there we just don't know exactly what they do yet right so anyways that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out